So a frequently asked question is, what are the main disciplines in engineering and what are the differences? I'll take you through that now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Zanele. If you haven't subscribed, press that subscribe button below, but also remember to press the notification button, so the little bell that tells you every time I upload new content. Basically, what I like to share about on this channel is around engineering, leadership, and career development. The reason I started the channel a while back, I was looking for information around the GCC and really struggled to find a lot of content. And I feel that because I've been exposed to certain things and with the access and the benefits that we get from the internet and technology, it's worthwhile sharing experience experiences and insights that I may have with individuals who may be going through the same thing. And that way you don't have to struggle through the same things that I had to struggle through. I'm all about sharing, learning, even with some of the insights that I get from you guys. So thank you so much to all of you that are sending DMs, emails, LinkedIn suggestions, because that's what keeps this going. And that's what actually motivates me to upload a lot more content. So there are a couple of questions that have come through. A lot of us are at varying levels in our career and we're in different stages of our growth and of our lives. You know, there are some of you guys who are well established in your careers. You know exactly where you're going. Your direction is clear and it's just in terms of um, clarity that you're needing to get just to get to the next level. A lot of the individuals and a lot of you guys, I know you've sent me emails as well and I see you on, on LinkedIn. You guys are asking questions around, okay, I'm going into tertiary now. I've selected this discipline in engineering. Is it the right one? Is it the right one at this moment in time? And what are the differences between what you've selected versus the other disciplines? You guys will notice it's extremely hot. I'm sweating, so it's very hot in case KZN, so don't mind that. Pay more attention to, to the information that I'm sharing with you. So this is extremely back to basics, but there are some individuals who are seeking clarity. So I'll do a short video on what the major disciplines are. So I'll focus on the four key ones in South Africa. That is civil engineering, chemical engineering, electrical, and mechanical engineering. And I can share subsequent videos if there are further questions around the other disciplines in engineering. So the first one is chemical engineering. So chemical engineering is really around chemical, physical, and biological properties, and really focuses on taking raw materials and chemicals and converting them into a valuable form. So in this discipline of engineering, you find a lot of chemical engineering, biomolecular engineering, um, materials engineering as well. And these engineers you often find in fields involving genetic engineering, process engineering, materials engineering. Um, it's not limited to this because you can also find them in FMCGs in different industries, but mainly around Around where you've got processing equipment, where you're converting material, molecules, chemicals, and whatnot into a usable form. So in industries where you're working with materials, so paper development, textiles, new materials establishment, this is where you're likely to find chemical engineers. So if you're interested in working with chemicals, if chemistry is your strong suit and you're wanting to convert that into a valuable form, then chemical engineering is for you. Engineering is around the design, construction, and maintenance of the physical and natural built environment. So structural, geotechnical, environmental, even mining, you're likely to find civil engineers. So where you're seeing reinforcements, working with materials of construction, where you're seeing buildings being built or new designs, that's where you're most likely to find civil engineers. So a lot of our sewage systems, effluent systems, wastewater management and whatnot is actually a heavy involvement of a civil engineer because they understand the structural implications of having those differences, number one, in the different types of pressures that are applied, um, in the loading that is applied. Um, so they understand the reinforcements to mitigate some of those forces that are applied to certain structures to ensure that they stay stable. So interesting fact that in 2017, civil engineers and in construction were one of the most paid disciplines within South Africa. So you're also needing to look at where it is that you're located or where you're looking to work, what the biggest need is. So a civil engineer in a less developed environment has a better chance of standing out and having the opportunity for further development than the one in a more developed environment. So electrical engineering is the study and applications of electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism. So these engineers you find um, working in subdivisions um, concerning telecommunications, electronics, in power systems and power generation. So you do find light and heavy current, those that work with software, hardware, electronics, digital electronics as well. And then you have those engineers that work with more heavy current in your power generation plants. So example, ESCOM and those working with power generation systems. And that's where you find a bit of the differences. You've got some of those engineers working in telecommunications. So where you've got your MTNs, Vodacoms, Telcoms, you're likely to have electrical engineers working in those facilities. Or even where you've got power generation like your big powerhouse 
ESCOM, you're likely, most likely to have electrical engineers working there as well. So last but not least, there's mechanical engineering. So mechanical engineering is really around the design, analysis, and application yes. of heat and mechanical systems for the operations of machines and mechanical systems. So mechanical engineers you find in manufacturing, you also find them in power plants, you find them a lot in utilities. So with most of the disciplines, in fact, with almost all except civil engineering, you do find in a lot of FMCGs because of operations in factories. You find mechanical engineers also in mines. So ranging throughout a wide host of divisions and functions and also in different fields, you will find mechanical engineers. So where you've got utilities application, where you've got new construction, where you've got um, mines, and where you've got especially the use of utilities and heat transfer, you will likely find a mechanical engineer. So some of these engineers you find in mines and aeronautics and marines, and you also find them in automotive industry. So there's usually some banter and back and forth around which engineering discipline is better than the other. I can't really say right now which one is better. What I can say is depending on the environment that you're operating in. Because we've seen a cycle where some engineering disciplines have heightened in their level of demand and then have seen a slump depending on the level of development and where trends are sending us. So example, if you're looking at least developed countries, you're likely to require almost all of your engineering disciplines, least likely looking to have your chemical engineers involved. So we're needing structures and roads, we're needing electricity and power, we're needing to develop um, also manufacturing facilities. So you're likely to require a lot of your engineering disciplines involved to do so. Whereas in your most developed countries where you've got established structures and you're just maintaining facilities, looking to develop technology even further, you'll find that digitization, electrical engineering, also with mechanical engineers, because robotics are becoming the in thing, that's where you're finding a lot of the trends moving forward. So bear in mind where it is that you're looking to make an impact and where it is that you're looking to find your passion and your purpose aligned to ultimately have fulfillment in your role. As I mentioned, there are other disciplines in engineering, such as your industrial engineers and so on and so forth. I will share subsequent videos if there are a lot of questions and demand for more information about the other fields in engineering, but those are really just the four core, four major disciplines in engineering that we do have in the country. Comment below on which discipline in engineering that you're currently working in or which one you're looking to get into now that you're going into tertiary and share your views on where you're seeing value that can be added from that discipline in engineering. Ultimately, all of this is for all of us to go out there and actually make a change with the insights that we've gotten. Check out my next video where I'll answer one of the questions that you guys asked around mechanical engineers and what they actually do in FMCGs. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Shop.